Hello folks, this is Gabor and I want to celebrate the fourth anniversary of Gabor Speaks. This is the fourth birthday of Gabor Speaks and this is also the last birthday of Gabor Speaks. Maybe you have noticed that I don't say in my videos anymore that Hi, this is Gabor from GaborSpeaks.com and I don't say at the end of my videos Come speak with Gabor at GaborSpeaks.com <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. It was fun, but it has come to an end. And Gabor speak is, Speaks is coming to an end for several reasons. And in this video, I want to share with you why is it that I have decided not to have Gabor Speaks anymore. And the first reason is because, <clears throat> uh, because it was like a business to me. And for me, it doesn't really feel right anymore to have a business based on just the normal activity that I am doing every day. And I'm also not really comfortable about uh, the business world as it is. And also to try to make money with whatever that you have or that I have, that we have, uh, with our talents, with... Um, <clears throat> our hobbies with our joy with our whole being you know just to set up everything in order to make as much money as possible <clears throat> this is something that i can observe everywhere that i go even in the spiritual community you know in in most of the spiritual communities that i have seen so far uh, every facebook group or every group seems like you know, a fucking hot page for businesses. You know, like, come to me and uh, get to know your feminine essence only for $500 per week, just for you, just for now. Come and get to know your hot self. And um, th this is cringy, you know, and th this is also <clears throat> wrong. It feels really, really, really wrong especially if if somebody has a divine calling or a divine talent to share something to help people develop spiritual development should fucking not be connected to money of course it's okay to accept money and it's good to <clears throat> eradicate all the blockages that one has for prosperity, for happiness, for uh, for wealth and such things. <clears throat> but when it's uh, when money becomes the main focus and the main criterion to filter people, and then it's fucked up. Especially because money is just an illusion. You know, like how our world works it's basically that there is money, we are all focusing on this money, but this money doesn't exist. You know, it's not even paper anymore. It's just a number on the fucking monitor and nothing else. You know, we can, theoretically, we could do the same fucking thing saying that, oh, here is a pen, you need it, okay, there you go. I give you my trust and for this trust, I will get something else when I need something. And that's how already the economy works. If we removed the money, it would work the same fucking way. It's just that, you know, we need to have some reassurance that, okay, I, I have a number on my monitor, so that means that I can have something for, for this number, whatever I need, but this number is really nothing. You know, that's, that's what we can see. In Canada, for example, when the government says, ah, you don't have this number anymore because you didn't know do what, uh, what you want to, what I wanted you to do or you didn't behave right. So you had some money, now you don't have. <laughs> and, you know, like the situation is the same. The only thing that's uh, changed is now you believe you don't have money. Now you believe that you don't have any right to have goods or services or whatever the fuck you need just because a number on the monitor disappeared. How fucking ridiculous is that? 
So I want to remove myself from this world, from this world of illusions, from this world of uh, money. I know it's going to be a longer process, but this is something that I want to start. And uh, I also want to share my divine talents with other people without limiting myself with money only. Because I think in the end money is only limiting. Not only, of course, but uh, it's, it focuses you on the physical world, yes? So that you get money that doesn't exist, that's what I said. But for this money, you get the stuff that you need. But, you know, like if you, if I, if we believe in God, if we have trust, then eventually we will get what we need. And maybe we will need to use money as a tool, but it's just going to be one tool with a million, in a, in, in, amongst millions of other tools. <clears throat> so this feels like the right decision. And Gabor Speaks represented this sort of choice that I'm part of this world, I'm par part of this limiting world, limiting beliefs. And with eradicating Gabor Speaks, I am eradicating a wall, a barrier that essentially just um, stopped me from trusting the past, trusting the process, trusting the way of God, trusting my goal in this life, the reason why I'm on this earth. And the funny thing is that I don't know exactly why I am on this earth yet. But I'm just removing the veils, I'm removing the walls that make me blind, that make me not see why is it that I am here. I'm also pretty sure that speaking is part of it, why I am here. So speaking is something that I'm going to continue and I will frankly just speak whatever the fuck I want to speak about, whatever that comes to me, whatever is that I feel important, like really fucking important that I have to say this, even if it's hard, even if it hurts, even if I don't get money for it, even if I get minus money for it, even if I lose everything for it, I don't care. If I have to say it, I want to be able to say it without any sort of second thoughts or any sort of doubt. <clears throat> so again, this is why I am eradicating, letting Gabor speaks go, because I'm let, I, yeah, I think letting it go is, is correct because it's been dead for a while. It's been dead for a while and I kind of saw it I didn't really want to see it for a couple of months, but now it's time to say that it's dead. Gaborspeaks.com is dead. This way of uh, focusing my talents is dead. And I am liberating myself to do something else, to do something that is more important. I'm preparing myself for the next step. And I also want to honor Gabor Speaks and being really thankful for it because Gabor Speaks showed me that I can actually do something that is connected with me, that can be really joyful, and I can also help people in their paths. And even if it was not essentially the best way, it was a good way. To, to use my talents and it was actually a really feasible way to establish myself also in the old world that is only focusing on physical wealth and physical well-being. It could have been an amazing tool to do it and it could have been an amazing tool to rise in society, to be somebody in the society it's too bad that <laughs> I, I, I don't believe in this society anymore. And this is the first step. And I'm saying this the first time that it's time to build a new one from the fucking scratch. 
a new society. I don't know how it is going to be. I don't know how it is going to work out. But that's what we need to do. Holy fuck, that's what I know that I'm going to do. And I will be ready when the calling comes. So once again, happy fourth birthday, Gabor Speaks. Thank you for everything. And now I'll let you go. And now I'm ready for the new things to come. All the best to you, folks. Ciao.